Right, good morning guys. Welcome to another episode of Hooked. My name's John Murray and I'm an angling addict. And today I've come down to Parkview Lake at Sandutton, York. It's an old estate lake. It's an absolutely beautiful place and it's uh, renowned for its big bream and carp. Today we're going to be focusing on trying to get a few of the bream. So I've got one rod set up. We're going to be fishing a 30 metre line. I've got 10 wraps on. Uh, we've measured that out on the sticks just in case we break off. I've picked a far bank marker and we're going to be aiming that, that all day and uh, feeding fish meal ground bait, possibly some micro pellet in there if we can get a few bream on the go. And we've got some maggots, worms, pellets and wafters to have a go at as well. It's a windy day, the lake's got a little bit of colour in it. There's a good ripple on, so hopefully we'll get a few. Stay tuned and we'll get some fishing done right after the intro. Right then guys, I'm just going to use some Sunny Bait Sweet F1 fish meal dark ground bait 50-50 with the swim stem betaine green So we'll just mix those dry ingredients together Already that feels quite wet to the touch So I'm just going to let that stand now We'll maybe add a little bit more water to it and then we'll run it through the riddle So rather than using caster today I'm just going to soak up some micro pellet We'll add a little bit of that in with our ground bait, but initially I'm just going to go with the straight ground bait mix and then introduce the pellet as we go. I'm going to be using some 4mm Pro expanders as a change hook bait. Right, I've just uh, figured out roughly how far I want to be fishing out. I'm just going to measure this off now. I'm measuring sticks just in case we crack off eight, nine. Okay, nearly ten wraps. And that just means if we crack off, we can get exactly back on our spot. I picked a far bank marker, which is a tree, so that's not going to move. So we're just going to aim at that line all day and hopefully we'll start catching at 30 meters right i'm just going to start off on a size 16 driven carbon feeder hook to 0.10 reflow so i'm just going to tear this hook on quickly and that's whipped on okay the setup today is quite simply a preston innovations 30 gram one ounce cage style window feeder that's on a snap swivel uh, running bead we've got a couple of stops stopping that off to a twizzle boom and then we've got one of the matrix quick change adapters going onto the hook length so that we can change easily later in the day the main line we're using today is matrix 10 pound submerged braid and that's uh, joined with a universal knot to 11 pound Senex to act as a shock leader. So initially I'm just going to pack the feeder with some of this ground bait that we mixed up. I'm going to go with a single maggot and just gauge the response. Let's go. Okay, so smash maggot on the first cast. It's probably just a roach, but at least there's fish there. I'll start introducing a little bit of bait. Not much to start with. Just regulate what we feed through the feeder. Just squeeze a squeeze a ground bait in. Three or four maggots. 
Still not putting any pellet in just yet. Okay, second cast, maggot came back smashed again. I did see the bait on the tip. It was very slight, uh, it didn't develop as such. So I'm gonna go with double maggot this time. I'm not introducing any worm just yet. I'm gonna stick with the uh, build it slow approach. Don't want to overfeed them at this time of year. It's uh, it's a strange time of year. You might have a red letter day, but it could be hard as well. So it's uh, still it's still cold overnight. Still getting frost. It's not overly warm out here today, but that's it. Just keep it in the clip. Aiming at the. Uh, the golden tree on the fair bank, that's where I'm aiming. It's just coming into leaf. Okay, well so far, I've had about half a dozen casts. And I've had a smash maggot on about four occasions. I'm seeing the bite, so we're just getting a little twitch now. That's definitely something having a go at the maggot, but these bites are very, very finicky at the moment. So we're just building the line slowly. Last two casts I've put half a dozen micro pellets in the feeder as well, along with about just three or four maggots, so I'm really not putting a lot of loose feed down there at this present time. That's definitely a bite there, so I'm going to lick this in a second. Probably just a roach, barely moving the tip, back to where it's still stopped. Tiny little roach. So start. Just had the first really positive bite. I think it's only a roach still, but significantly more positive indications than we were getting to start with. So maybe the swim's starting to build now. Yeah, another small roach. I'm just starting to introduce a little bit of micro. Not many. Half a dozen. In the window feeder. Still putting in about three maggots. And then just capping it off. I'm just going to try a small piece of worm on the hook, I'm not introducing any just yet. I'm just going to see if this brings a more positive bite. So we've got a little nip on there, not much bigger than the size of, size of a maggot. We might still be fishing for roach at this point in time. But they may prefer worms today. It is cold, the wind is freezing. We may be starting to get a few fish come on now. Just been a few extra micros through the feeder. Still only half a dozen maggots or so. Oh, that's only a small fish, but we'll take it on a cold day like today. Okay, I'm just switching feeders onto a matrix horizon. I just feel like the uh, Preston window feeder is diving a bit. And Causing me some issues, so hopefully this one will lay a bit better into the bottom. Uh, I'm not digging to the leaf debris as much. Okay, right now the maggot and micro pellet plan isn't really working, so I'm just going to introduce a tiny little bit of worm. I've only got maybe half a dozen worms here. I'll just put it, run a little bit through the feeder, and see if we can start spurring something to come in. Still searching for those bream. It is so cold, I'm literally sat here shivering at the moment. Wish I'd put my big face in. Looks like the worms worked. Literally, that was out. A mere second or two. We've definitely got a bream on.
We'll start introducing more well now. Big old slab. That's what I've been looking for. Look at that bad boy. Hopefully now. <coughs> we'll get a few more of these. We're doing the damage. Set my stopwatch. Five minutes, nothing. We'll bring it back in. We had a couple of uh, indications on it, but it didn't develop into anything, so I'll just uh, bring it back in and cast out again. Just keep a little bit of bait going in now. Just a couple of maggots as well. Another tiny bit of worm. Just giving them a taste of everything at the moment. Something just to keep their interest. Hopefully tempt another fish. On. Perfect. That was uh, less than 30 seconds. Less than 30 seconds for that moment. It's definitely a win. We've got a few turning up now. This is good news. Oh no, it's come off. 
No! It's the last thing I wanted to happen. I cannot believe it's fallen off. Nightmare. Okay. Let's go again. Hope that ant uh, put the mockers on it now. I hate losing bream. So dodgy. This isn't losing immediately. He's bringing him back when he came off, so hopefully we won't have killed the peg. I'm just starting to get it going. We've got a few fish coming in. We'll start to uh, go on to a stronger upland. And the size spot seen up. These Matrix Horizon feeders are uh, brilliant. They really do rise up in the water quickly. Different to the first one I was fishing earlier, which was just a little bit, uh, a little bit heavy and sort of dragging on the way back. So since I lost that bream, I've been struggling to get another bite. Just gone back on the worm after trying the maggot for a cast, and the tip just had a sharp wrap, but it's not come to anything yet. It tells me there's still some fish there, and that's gone round. Oh, what? How on earth did I miss that? Okay, well this is good news. Missed the bite, but that was definitely a bream bite. It was a lovely pull round. Don't know how I missed it. I'll just get straight back out. Put another fresh piece of worm on. Come on. Ah, oh, you are taking the <coughs> Well, today is going from bad to worse. I've had three wind knots, wind knots, whatever you want to call them, but I've literally got next to no braid left on the reel now. I've never known it before, but I'm going to say the wind knots because it's so bloody windy today. I wet the braid down as well, but it caused me issues. I had to rejoin the lead on three times difficult out in this wind so it's put me back trying to get back out after missing that last bream bite so I've had one bream lost one bream and missed a bream so it's bream two me one right now wind is really catching the feeder now, it's towing it round to the right, freezing. I'm not glad I've got a coffee. So we're getting down to end of day now. And I'm just hoping I can get another one out for the camera. I haven't tried pellet on the hook. Just don't feel like it'll produce at this moment in time. We've been getting more bites. I'll give it a try, but I've just got no confidence in it. And we can't get one on worm. Well, got a few bites on the worm. It's a very slow day, it's just so bitterly cold. Put this worm on. Challenging conditions. That was a wrap. That was a good tug on the tip then. Come on. Yeah, there's something there. There's 
hopefully we'll get one this turn. Waiting for that long, slow pull and definitely something still there. That's a small fish as up to itself. Could have done. Give it another minute. And it's tugging again. Right, let's hit that. There was a little rattle on the tip there, but I'm not entirely sure that was going to be a bream. Is there a fish on? Yep, small roach. No, it's falling off. Okay. That's disappointing. It's on the money. Yes. How on earth have we missed that? That absolutely rips around. Did you see that on camera? It was on top of that and I missed it. This is crazy. The fish are there. Come on. Confidence is up now. I just need to walk into one, get it in. the geese on the way out. That was close. Nearly lost the lot. Come on. I won't even out two minutes then. Start the stopwatch again. It's so cold I'm shaking here. It's a bite developing. Just a little wrap on the tip again. Not like the last one, that just ripped round. Could just be a roach. Three minutes, nothing. That's a bite, that's a bite. Go on, go on. That's going. I'm gonna hit that. Now, yes! We've got something. I don't know whether it's a full size brain. Could be a skimmer. Don't feel that big. Oh, oh it's having a go now. Nice fish. Good. He took some work getting. Right guys, if you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing to the channel and give us a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. You think those big sweeping brain bites were just liners? How do you miss them, really? Right, two in the net. See if we can't get a third one.
that's a nice guest. Oh, it's gone round straight away. Oh my God. Something took that straight away. Came off though. Never set the hook. That's incredible. In fact, we've been bossed off. I think that was a cat. Unbelievable. Right, we've got 45 minutes left here. I'll step this hook length up now and put a 1.13 bottom on and a 14 to finish off. Just goes to show when they're there and they're having it, it literally goes in seconds of landing. Right, that steps it up. Just a little bit more worm up. Oh, every time I've got to cast out, the blue wind gets up. Crazy that. Okay. I guess you could say I've made a bit of a balls of it today. Definitely come back for a go when it's warmer. I don't think there's been too much wrong with the tactics. Um, maybe I should have tried the worm a bit earlier, but I did try it on the hook. So, I think it's just such a cold day. You've got to take your opportunities when you get them. Okay, that's a seven minute cast, nothing. something on that straight away. As soon as it's touched down, I think they're just sitting and looking at the bait today. I might take it as it falls through water sometimes. Let's just give it a nudge, see if we can attempt something. A tiny bit of movement. That's a bite. Yeah, let's hit that. Yeah, fish up.
fishing fish. It's so cold today, this one will warm me up. Leave that clutch off a little bit. If not in the water, it's a lovely fish. It's a lovely fish. Beautiful fish. Oh, that's a big old slab as that. Meadow. So happy to catch you. Perseverance pays off. And the third spot team, bottom lip. My hands are freezing. Ooh. Lively, lively fish. Come here. That the old bit. Absolute beauty. There we go. How about that? <laughs> nice fish. I can go all happy now. Right then, let's see if we can't get one more. Worms being the bait today. You can't go bream fishing without worms. You can go without caster. A little caster as it's there. But worm. That's my top tip for catching bream. And they do like these pellets, little micros. They're just helping all the fish in the swim. A bit like you'd use caster to hold them. But these little micros just keep them grubbing around. Not overfeeding them. Barely even used probably a third of a pint of ground bait today. See if we can't grab one more. It do take a while to develop these bites. At times, sometimes I've got straight away. Bite on here. The fish on, come on, take it properly. Just chewing on it. Keep on go. Yeah. Yeah, he's on. Switching on now. What a time of day. What to far. Let's stay for a little bit half an hour. I've got some kick, a live one. Oh, he's awake. He's awake.
holding this low and steady. Feels a big fish. It's kicking. There he is. That's another lovely fish. Lines whistling in the wind. Look at that beauty. Come here. Yes. Oh, he is an absolute whopper. Great big bream. barely get hold of him. My hands are so cold. That's it. We've got him. Look at the size of this. Fabulous fish. Absolutely fabulous. <laughs> Pop him in the net. Right guys, that's it. I'm done for the day. Uh, it's been a cold one, really challenging conditions. I'm absolutely freezing. But we've had a few bream, so I'll get them out. We'll have a look at them, see what we've had, weigh them, and uh, I'm going to pack up and go home. So, if you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you on the next one. Tight lines. Some nice slabs in there. Beautiful fish. Okay, we'll give them away. Just get on the terra firma. Right guys, well, been a tough day. Freezing cold one. But, we've managed 12 pound two ounces 12 pound yeah 12 pound two I'm happy with that some cracking fish really is gotta be happy with them all right let's get them home back you go big lads Proper beauties. Off you go, guys. And a few small roach. <laughs> 